let's establish a fundamental truth. We, like people, were similar to ourselves. This is human nature. Now, this does not imply hate towards another group, nor am I suggesting that you can't learn from someone who is unlike yourself. All I'm saying is that for the most part, we relate to people who are like us. Now that said, I want to bring this discussion to strength training and muscle building. Here's my question from me to you. Can you relate to strong or muscular men that are taking a bunch of steroids? Really, think about that for a second. Listen to your heart, not up here. Don't just look at the numbers that they're producing. Don't just think about the work ethic. Think about it from a different level. Perception. Do you relate to these guys? And do you really respect them more than natural muscle? In fact, I want to ask you another question right after this plane passes by. Let's take two individuals. One guy is 40 years old. He's been training since he was 20. The other guy is 25 years old. Both of them can deadlift 800 pounds. However, the guy who's 40 did it naturally. It took him 20 years to get there. Whereas the younger guy, it took him five years, but he injected a bunch of steroids. Which piece of strength is more impressive to you? You see, it's not so black and white. The numbers in isolation, it's not enough. No, 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 no. You have to look at whether or not the individual is natural. And I know, I know for a fact that deep down in your heart, you respect natural strength and muscle more than you do roid muscle, especially when you equate the same stats. You see, when someone reaches a great body, something that could have been done naturally, but they use roids to get there, it's not as impressive. And for me personally, this is my opinion, I don't respect that at all. If you took a bunch of roids to get to my physique level, for instance, and it took you two years to get there, I don't respect that. To me, I consider that pathetic. In fact, I consider elite natural strength at the roid level to be pathetic in every possible way. Now, I know some guys are thinking, oh man, that sounds fucking crazy. You're a natural elitist. And you know what? I am. I admit it. I respect naturals more than I do roid heads. That's the bottom line. Now, that might trigger some people who want a bunch of stuff, but I don't give a fuck. My channel is for naturals. I don't care what a few select individuals are doing, especially when we have real natural inspirations who are showing us what can actually be obtainable. When I look at the old school lifters of the past, for instance, I get real inspiration. Not fake inspiration, not ego inspiration of seeing a guy on roids hitting these big numbers. I don't give a fuck about what they do. But when I look at a guy from the 1900s who I know for a fact is 100% drug free because they did not exist, that lights a fire in my heart. That brings the passion back. It's like the fire is dying out and you throw more firewood in there. That's what it feels like. I get a sense of joy, wonder, excitement. My heart starts racing. I feel a sense of passion that I cannot even describe. Natural strength and muscle building is beautiful. It's fantastic and I respect it so, so much. And when I see these old school guys of the past, many of them died in the 90s by the way because they were actually fucking natural. When I see these dudes hitting these impressive feats of strength, it's absolutely amazing in every possible way. I was reading on some old time strongman the other day and even um, some old school weightlifters. And there were many competitions held in which the strict press was part of that competition, not just the bench. In fact, the bench didn't exist back in the day. And the rules of the lift were as follows. You had to clean the barbell from the ground, bring it to your chest, pause it for a two count, and then press it over your head in a strict manner. Now, I was looking at the various weight classes that existed, ranging from, I believe, 132 to uh, 190 or something, maybe low 200s. And I was absolutely blown away by the numbers that these guys put up. For instance, people who weigh 160 pounds, they were overhead pressing in the 200s. Strict, pause, drug free. I'm talking 240, numbers like that. Overhead press, strict, and you have to clean it from the ground under competition rules. The guys who were in the heavier weight classes, they were overhead pressing in the high 200s. Some of them, in non-competitive conditions, were able to overhead press 300, seated, full range of motion. So do you see what natural strength is? Do you realize that there are so many people on YouTube who have not reached their potential? They just haven't been training long enough, or effectively for that matter? Do you realize that there are people who walked this earth in the past who were freaks of nature? And not freaks because of their genetics, freaks 
because roids did not exist and they put in the work and they loved strength training, they loved the iron and they did what they had to do to succeed. You see, when I see stuff like that, I'm so inspired, I can't even fucking describe it. I'm ecstatic when I see shit like that. When I know that there are guys who have pulled 700 to 800 in the conventional style, right? Back in the day, naturally. That's fucking awesome. That's so cool. That's so, so cool. When I know that there are guys who have benched 500 pounds naturally, that's fucking amazing. I'm sorry to swear, but your potential is so much higher than what you think it is. And I know that you relate more to natural muscle than you do roid muscle. The only guys that I truly respect, if we're talking about the enhanced world, are those who are on a bunch of stuff. Your top strongmen, your top powerlifters, whatever. The guys who are on high doses of stuff, I respect them because they're actually doing the maximum of what they're capable. They're hitting like their peak. They're not just hitting their natural limit. They're hitting the peak of the peak of the peak. The best of the best human performance possible. I like that. That's cool. What I don't like are the guys who take low to moderate stuff and, they, and their strength exceeds that of a natural by a small margin. No, I don't respect that at all. No, I don't. Because in my opinion, it's not as legit. And that's why, folks, I always talk about the old school lifters of the past. I don't care what some of these drug-tested lifters are doing. I don't give a fuck because most of them are not actually natural. You've heard this before in some intelligent comment sections, but drug-tested is not drug-free. And that's the bottom line. Most of these guys can pass a drug test. And actually, a lot of them get caught too, eventually. Then you find out that their results were fake, in a sense. They weren't actually naturals competing. They were fucking Reuters. And it's just stick to their untested federations. In fact, if you look at the weightlifting competitions, the more that the drug testing tests develop more and more, we look at the past samples, and guess what? It's all positive. <laughs> these guys in the Olympics are on a bunch of drugs. All the elite athletes are on a bunch of drugs. So this whole, oh, he's drug tested, that doesn't impress me at all. Not at all. The only thing we can do is take someone's word. That's the best thing we can fucking do. We can take someone's word and look at them physically and say, okay, is there a possibility this guy's on roids? We have to, and usually, you know what? If you have a good eye for it, you'll be able to tell if a guy's on roids or not because natural muscle looks different. Again, go back to the old school lifters. I was looking at some pictures the other day, man, and I was like, wow, these guys look like me. These fucking guys look like me. There were people who were like my height, five, six, five, seven. I was looking at their, their physiques, right? and their measurements, and their strength. I was like, man, that's so obtainable. I'm like right there. Some of these guys that has the same measurements as me, in other cases, I was actually ahead of them. Their strength usually, like actually, if I would have competed back in the day, like in the 1940s, I'd be getting like silver medals, which is really, really cool. If we're talking about like the, the strength stuff, like military press, stuff like that. But you see, because of roids, all our standards are fucked, and we don't have any inspirations. And that's why when I see real naturals that are putting up insane numbers, I got to give them shout outs, number one, and I got to support them. And of course, I'm personally inspired by what they do because it motivates me to reach a higher level and I can relate to them. So that's what it comes down to, folks. It's about relating. Can you relate to me? I think most of you can. Why? Why can you relate to me? Because you know that I'm drug free and you know that I'm not some freak. I started up as a skinny guy, 120 pounds. I worked my way up in terms of strength, muscle, knowledge over a long period of time. And this is the result. And when you look at my physique, it's like, damn, I could look like that too. It's realistic. It's achievable. And that's why you like what I do. That's why you get results. Because you know that you're listening to a no bullshit guy. So that's what you have to do. Find people who you trust. Find people who you know with 100% certainty are drug free. If you even question them for a second, unsubscribe to their channel. If you have any doubts, don't watch them. Or, you know what, you don't have to unsub. Maybe they give good information, but think about their feats of strength a bit differently. That's all I'm trying to say. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very different subject. But this is what I felt like talking about today because I was reading on some old school lifters and I was really, really, really inspired. So inspired that I felt compelled to make this segment. So, go back to the past, get a blast from the past, find out what really worked, find out what's time tested, and keep raising your standards, man, and keep relating to guys who are walking the same path as you. You can be impressed all day by these roid head numbers. And I'm sure that what they do is not easy. The amount of hard work that they got to put in, the amount of food, the amount of drugs, not easy. And they know what they're doing to their bodies. So, hope you enjoyed this segment. I want to hear your stories. Put them down below and I'll talk to you all next time.